Hey, Ryan Dice back with you again, and uh, we're now proceeding to step two on how to optimize the lead magnet. I'm going to cover what a lead magnet is in just a little bit, but first, let's kind of talk about where we've been. If you recall, the very first step was we determined product market fit. We made sure that the thing that we're selling is actually something that someone wants to buy. But like we talked about at the end of that particular session, just knowing that you have what somebody wants isn't enough. We still have to kind of ease into the relationship just like we have to do in ordinary human interaction. That's exactly what offering a lead magnet allows you to do. In fact, as we talked about previously, it is the lowest barrier to entry. This is, you know, in the dating and relationship space, it's the equivalent of saying, you know, hey, you know, can I get your number? I'd love to call you sometime. Okay. So that's what we're talking about with the lead magnet. Just to give you a more specific example though, the lead magnet is a small chunk of value that solves a specific problem, okay? A specific problem for a specific market that is offered in exchange for an opt-in. Now this is critical. A lead magnet is an exchange of value. The mistake that a lot of people make is they say, well, I'm just giving something away for free. It doesn't have to be that good. That's not the case, right? When somebody gives you permission to follow up with them, when they exchange you know, their contact information and permission to follow up with them, that is valuable. They're giving you a chunk of their attention. Therefore, you need to be delivering a chunk of value uh, in exchange that is a greater than what they just gave you. But the key here, if you look, there are two words that are, well, one word listed twice, it's in all caps, and that's the word specific. As you're about to see, specific is critical. Specificity and lead magnets, everything, and that's why we're gonna spend a lot of time focusing on that. So just to be clear, this is not a lead magnet, okay? This is not a lead magnet. Simply saying, hey, subscribe to our newsletter is not a lead magnet because there is no specific problem that is being solved, right? In fact, nobody wakes up and they say, you know what my big problem is? My big problem is I just don't have enough email in my inbox. Oh, I know, I'll subscribe to a newsletter. Only nobody thinks that, okay? That's never come up in the history of like people existing, except maybe like early on in the AOL days when you're just happy to hear you've got mail, right? This hasn't existed for well over a decade. So simply asking somebody, hey, subscribe to our newsletter isn't enough. Newsletters are not lead magnets. We're going to talk about some other things that are not lead magnets, but I want to really hammer this point home because specificity, all right, specificity in your lead magnets, understanding that a great lead magnet must be specific is the most critical theme and element that I want you to take out of this particular session. So with that, let's talk about how you can make your lead magnets more specific.